Hey, what's up guys? It's the number one predator here, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is a weapon switch chem strike with the SC2010 and the CBJMS. So, for those who don't know what a weapon switch chem is, although I'm pretty sure 100% or maybe a 99.9%, .9%, I know it's always the odd one, but there you go. Um, basically, a weapon switch chem strike is where you switch weapon every kill. That's pretty much all you have to do is just get a kill. For example, in this gameplay, I get a kill with my um, SC2010. And then I'll switch to my CBJMS and get a kill with that. And then I'll switch back to my SC2010. So far, so forth. Uh, I think you guys already know that. But, you know, for those who don't, there you go. So, um, I was using the two weird guns. Um, the weakest guns, or what some of the weakest guns. Well, the SC2010 is not as weak as the ARX. But um, it's relatively weak in its category. Uh, the guns that aren't, should I say they're really underused in... Um, Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, I wanted to bring out two guns that aren't used very much and um, that aren't the Honey Badger and the AK-12 all the time. You know the MTAR, the Vector. Um, I don't want to use those guns for these sort of gameplays. I mean the MTAR and the Vector aren't that, that used very much. It's more like the AK-12 and the Honey Badger. Um, but uh, here it is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to drop a like rating if you did. That's always appreciated. Here's my first weapon switch chem strike that I have uploaded to YouTube. I did um, actually get another weapon switch which was before this one. This was with the SC2010 and the Honey Badger but once again as I said before I didn't want to upload a Honey Badger gameplay so um, I did just stuck the CBJMS on instead and this gameplay wasn't the fastest I do you know admit it wasn't the fastest. I did cut it down a little bit so hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background um, comment if you want me to go for another weapon switch and if you want me to go for another weapon switch then let me know what guns you want me to use I've got a few weapon switch gameplays that link into a sort of another unique uh, gameplay such as a weapon switch hip fire I don't know if I should have said that but then again I've already got a weapon switch hip fire chem strike so I'll probably now I've said that I'll probably upload that very very soon um, it was with the web boot. I'm not, actually, I'm not going to advertise another gameplay on this gameplay. You'll see when it comes out. It's a pretty cool gameplay in my opinion. So make sure to stay um, tuned for that gameplay on my channel. Um, it'll probably upload sometime this weekend or next weekend. Um, I normally upload my best game, better gameplays. It wasn't not my best, but my better gameplays during the weekend because it's obviously the best way to get um, most of you guys watching them. So um, hopefully you guys will be looking forward to that gameplay in the future. But uh, this gameplay was on Tremor, um, which makes it a little bit more Im not impressive, but a little bit better for me. For me anyway, not for other people, but for me. Because um, I don't really play this that much on Domination. And you would have thought I'd get a gameplay like this on Free For All, because Free For All is... One of the easier easier game modes to get these sort of gameplays. I know I admit it because I've got pretty much all of my gameplays on free for all. Um, I'm not saying they're easy, but they're easier because um, for for thing for gameplays like this where you're like vulnerable for a certain amount of time. In this example, I'm vulnerable for like the second that I switch my weapon. Um, there, there could be a chance that two enemies run past, which makes it really annoying. So if you do it on free for all, there's less of a chance of that happening, which makes it better. But then again, there is the restrictions on free for all, such as the speed, which makes it less, you know, a bit more annoying to go for. As well as like, there's normally like one huge sweat that runs around dead silence with a vector and stuff like that, which is something I run across all the time now. And lobbies on this game are really ruined. I really don't like this game anymore. I went on Black Ops 2 and I don't like that game anymore. I only like playing League, play on Black Ops 2 now. Um, I want to try and get a Masters thing. I might try and do. I might do a series called Road to Masters, but I might do that on my second channel um, because I want to focus this channel on gameplays instead of more competitive stuff. But I might upload some League play gameplays that I do really well on. I've got like a 70 bomb on League play with like a swarm and that. So hopefully you guys um, want to see that. Let me know if you do. But um, more importantly, I just want you guys to leave a comment down below saying what two weapons you want me to go for. Don't like make them ridiculously hard because I want a gameplay that will take me a little bit of grinding, but not like 7,000 days um, when Call of Duty 14 comes out till I get the gameplay. So something, you know, different. Like for example, like a sniper and a, an assault rifle. Um, I mean, the sniper part be hard, but the assault rifle part makes it a little bit more balanced out and a little bit. Um, easier for me to get, so don't make it ridiculously hard and make it, you know, a bit just a little bit easier. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's gameplay. 
uh, the gameplay is coming to an end. Um, so, yeah, once again, hope you enjoyed. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.